Hey, it's Dave Skonda, the EM call, the English meeting call. Last week I didn't have video for the call, so I'm putting this video together, and I thought I'd say hi. Hello. And I hope you enjoy the call. Please comment on this video. I put this together for the YouTube group. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, English Meeting with Dave Skonda. Find me on Twitter, Dave Skonda, and Facebook. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, hope I can talk to you. You're welcome to join the EM call. My Skype ID is David88411. Those are numbers. David88411. See you soon. Bye-bye. Welcome. We're looking for is a EM call. English Meeting with Dave Skonda. It's time for the EM call. We've got a great panel representing countries worldwide, including Brazil, Belarus, Chile, Egypt, Spain, Venezuela, Pakistan, Colombia, and more. Some of the original cadre join us, like Julio and Liliana, looking at North Korea. Yes, North Korea. And we'll discuss some hotbed issues in Tanzania, meeting and falling in love over the Internet. Is it possible? We'll find out. Shyness, how to overcome it, vocabulary, pronunciation, and questions from the panel. We're looking for is a EM call. English meeting. Okay, so what's your question, Victoria? Dave, I've missed you so much, and do we all have missed you so much? How are you doing, and what's up? <laughs> what an excellent question and end statement. <laughs> Oh, I appreciate that. Well, it, first of all, it just feels great to be back. I've been away from my home and my hometown, which is Los Angeles. Oh. And I've been uh, in Chicago, which is quite far away. It's over 2,000 miles from uh, Los Angeles. And uh, in kilometers, that may be around, I don't know, 3,000 kilometers, something like that. So it's pretty far. And I've been working on a project, and the project was very intense, still going on, but, um, but I'm taking a break from it because there's a little bit of time for that. And uh, I feel great. It's great to be back and... Uh, I've missed doing the call. I've missed talking to everybody. It's been such a long time. I think it's been since maybe March or or April May. or May. Okay, thank yeah. you. <laughs> thank you for that correction. And um, yeah, so uh, I and I'm interested in trying some new things and, and doing uh, something a little different to see how that works. But you know, mostly the the core purpose of this call is to. Uh, is to connect with people and help people out, you know, and answer some things. A lot of um, people who study English are looking at improving their English, no matter where they are in the world, um, don't often get a chance to really focus on the speaking end of it. Sometimes their teachers have um, a big influence from the native language of the country that you're living in. And sometimes things... Um, are not so much in the North American English way of speaking or the British um, English way of speaking. And although I'm not British, sometimes I I help out with that British accent there, you know, so I can do a little bit of that, you know. Uh, be nice to me when I try my British accent. <laughs> and, uh, wow, that's so, interesting. Thank you. Yes, yes. How have you been, Victoria, real quick? Are you good? Oh, well, oh, yeah, I'm great. And, you know, all my teachers and friends say that my English, especially speaking skills, has improved significantly. And I always answer them that it has happened only, thankfully, to my favorite American teacher, David. Oh, that you are so nice. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to have to send you a check in the mail for that comment. <laughs> <laughs> I know they exaggerate a bit, but I feel that I become much more fluent. I feel much more comfortable and I become more self-sufficient after our lessons. I learn a lot from you, Dave. Thank you so much, and you are my favorite teacher. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, you know, what, what I notice about your speaking is that you're, you're very comprehensible. You know, you're speaking quite clearly, and you're doing a good job. So, oh, thank you. Know, you. Keep, keep up the good work. Keep up the oh. good work. 
Um, we have a few other people on the call, and um, uh, what what I'm what I want to tell everybody that we're going to do is I have some topics from recent uh, news, recent news topics from around the world, and um, we can. Uh, what we're going to do, I should say, is um, I'm going to give you some information uh, about a topic, and we'll see if anybody knows the answer to it. Um, if you want to Google it while we're talking, you could do that too. It's all about speaking and getting you to speak and getting into a discussion, because when you and I speak, what I'll do is take some notes, and then towards the end of our interaction, I will, um, I'll give you some tips on speaking. Okay. We have to, Sandra, we need you to yes. your microphone. Hi, Sandra. Where are you from, Sandra? I am from Colombia. I make my city is Cartagena. Oh, excellent. Cartagena, Colombia. Well, yes. thank you yes. for joining us. Um, I just want you to know, Sandra, we can hear a little bit of background noise. So when you're not speaking, if you can mute or turn off your microphone, you just need to click the picture of the microphone under everybody's name and picture in your Skype window. Uh, that's it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, and um, you'll see like a red line go through it, and then you'll know that your microphone has been muted. Um, okay, so here we go. What I want you to do now, see if you understand. If you get confused, just let me know. But, you know, I'm taking, I'm taking a few uh, hints from uh, a television show called Jeopardy and uh, NPR Weekend Edition. Uh, so what I'm going to ask people to do is try to give me an answer in the form of a question. So this is the first question. This person has been missing. He's on the north side of two countries that are very similar and very different. Now, if you think you know who this person is, this is an international figure. He's the head of his state. And so you would say, instead of just saying the name of the person, you would say, who is blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, <laughs> is this crazy? Does anyone have any idea who might I be talking about? You've been talking yourself. About That's myself? Right. <laughs> well, I have been missing, true, but I'm not on the north side of two countries that are very similar and different. Think of that last hint. These are two countries that are very similar, but they're all, they also have a big difference, at least one big difference. And there's a north and a south to these two countries. I think I think I know. Oh yeah, Jordy. Uh, Jordy, tell us where you're from. I'm from Spain. He's from, from Spain. Barcelona. All right. So Jordy yeah. from Spain. Who? Uh, but now give me your answer in the form of a question. So say, who oh, okay. is? Well. Um... Is it next to China or Japan? Oh, you're very warm. I think you have it right, Jordy. You're <laughs> okay. sounding very accurate. But I'm not going to say it. Okay. You're not going to say it. <laughs> well, do you know the name of the person I'm speaking of? Yes, but uh, it's a difficult name because it's from there. But Ah, well, well why don't you give me the country and you can say uh, what is and then the name of the country well it's in the north yes think. yes and the first letter is a key that's right K K K yeah and well 
Yeah, I, I've seen pictures in, on the internet and it's very difficult, very different from the north. Uh, in the north and, and the south, it's very completely different. And I think that this man is, something is happening with him. I think he has some kind of illness or I don't know. Yeah. That's what the, the news say. I see, I see. Okay, but are you going to tell us what country you're talking about? Yeah, North Korea. Ah, North Korea. Ding, 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 ding. Now, God, I used to have some sound effects here. I'll see if I can get them. <laughs> okay, um, but while, the, while I'm working on that, yeah, North Korea is right. Maybe we'll do like men against the women type of thing. Well, two teams, and we have North Korea. Now, this person has been missing can anyone else tell me who we're talking about and try to put it in the form of a question anybody are we talking about King John Un? Ah, who is that? Luis. Luis, it's me. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. You I it. was quite. So you I say, was quite... who is Kim Jong Un? That's right. Okay. Yeah. Who is Kim Jong Un? Yes, that's it. Now let me see if I can get a sound effect. Hold on. Okay, I think. Did you hear that? I don't know. No, no. I, 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 I'm not hearing any okay. sound effects any here. Any sound effect. Okay, hold on one second. Yeah. I'm playing with this uh, sound effects thing. Recording device. Oh, speakers. That's what I have to do. Speakers are going to maybe this. How about... Um, okay, now it's taking its time. Bravo. No, oh, hold on, hold on. Core device, playback device. Okay, so, um, okay, so what we're going to do is, oh, there's somebody else who wants to come in, add me on the call. Okay, see, this is what always happens, and more and more people come in okay one more time let's see if you can did anyone hear that let's no. see okay yeah i'm trying to get these sound effects into the call and it doesn't seem like that worked so uh, microphone speakers that's what i hear and stereo Yeah. Yeah, maybe we won't hear it. Settings. Audio. Hey Dave, you, yes, sir. You can, you, you can use your own mouth to make the sound effects. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I think I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> uh, right. Let's see. Is there a real tech? I have it. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So um, I don't want to waste too much time with that because it's going to drive all of you crazy. Um, so. This is what's kind of interesting. It's been in the news lately is the leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un. Yes, a little more difficult for some of us to pronounce. We're not maybe used to pronouncing that name. Um, has been has been missing. There was like an, some official um, activities, if you will, that North Korea has done and he wasn't there. So people are wondering, did something happen to him? Is he sick? Is he, has he passed away? Uh, why is he not out there? So what, what we can discuss for a moment is any opinions or thoughts or comments about North Korea. North Korea is one of the most mysterious countries on our planet. And if you want to talk about that, give your comment, give your opinion. I'll listen to you and yes. uh, 
give you some tips. So who wants to go? Well, I think that these men, I, I think that they tried to do something similar like Hugo Chavez, that when he was ill, anybody was there to say the truth until the end. And I think that something similar is happening there. That one thing that struck me is that when I watch the, the, the pictures from there, it, look, it look, looks like they are, they are living there like in the Middle Age or something like this. It, everything is not very, how you say it in English, um, it's not very modern, you know? Yes, that's true. Um, it's like they are living 40 or even 50 years ago than us. That's right. Uh, I've heard that type of talk a lot about North Korea, and the documentaries that I've seen on North Korea show them, you know, the country as a whole as quite quite behind the times, not very modern, as you say. And why do you think that is, Jordi? I think it's, well, because of the government there, but I don't know. And also, uh, the dwellers there, they look very, very unhappy. They are not happy. Though. It's not like in South Korea. In South Korea, they look friendly and I don't know, it's different. And well, why do you think they don't look happy? I think it's the government as well. But I, I don't know so much about it. But I think it's the government. You think it's the Maybe. government? Um, meaning, like, what, what do you, how do you, what do you think the interaction is between the people and the government there, or the feeling, at least, between the government and the people? I think that the government don't let them to do some kind of things. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what kind of thing, but maybe help things like going out or hang out with friends in the street or something like this. Right, right. It's like a dictatorship. But... Uh, hold on one second. Luis, please mute please your please microphone because uh, we can hear lots of background noise coming from your microphone. It's not me, I muted my mute. Oh, no, no, not Luis Felipe, uh, Luis Balderas. All right. Huh? Yeah, Luis Balderas, we need you to mute or turn off your microphone because there's lots of background noise. There he is. Okay, he's not getting it. Just have to take him off for now. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. We had two uh, Luises on. Um, so, yeah, Jordi says some interesting things um, about the government. Uh, the government is a, um, well, they're a communist government. And uh, I guess um, what we could say is they have a lot of control over the, uh, the country and the people. So, um, yeah. And also, I think that they don't let them to go out to the country. So they are trapped there. You know what, do you, what, what do you mean they oh they don't let them go out to the country so you mean they don't let them leave the country yeah for traveling or for holiday they i think it's it's not possible now yeah and it's interesting because okay when we say country sometimes we need mean like countryside meaning like a place where there's like uh open land and that sort of thing and then what you're talking about is the country itself and um um, you bring up a good point that um, a lot of North Koreans cannot leave their country to visit a different country like, I don't know, like Russia or China or uh, uh, America or some European country. They're, for the most part, a lot of their citizens are not allowed to do that. So what happens when, um, like, they're not even allowed to join the EM call. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I, I have not had a North Korean um, student on the EM call. But interestingly enough, I have had a North Korean student um, a long time ago that, um, that was in America. It was interesting. But they cannot join the EM call. So what is that? say any other comments about that because uh, they don't uh or people from north korea they don't allow to use the technology 
like uh, internet or uh, some uh, social mm. networks. Hello? Stop. Yes, right, right. And I remember that when you said that uh, North Korean um, can't leave their country, um, um, someone told me that uh, there is a, a, a guy, a North Korean guy who lives in the other, in South Korea, and one of uh, his parents uh, died in, in North Korea, and uh, the government uh, didn't allow him to return to his country uh, to to go to the um, how can I say that to the cemetery or uh, oh like to that. go to a cemetery to see like his family uh -huh. where they're buried exactly mm -hmm. so they they can't return to their country they live, live that's true. They can't. They can't return. Um, are Are you talking about South Koreans who want to go to North Korea to visit their? Uh, no. For example, uh, he was. Uh, he's a, a South Korean uh, man, okay. and he he left his country to study in the other South Korea, and when one of uh, his parents died, uh, the North Korean government. And didn't allow him to return to, to his Oh, home. I see. Didn't allow him to return to South Korea. Uh-huh, exactly. Yeah, that would be kind of scary. I mean, uh, perhaps all of us, if we took a moment to think about if we were traveling and we we're traveling to a different country and that country said, no, you can't okay. leave, you can't go home. Uh -huh. uh, that would be kind of scary, I imagine. Yeah, so like, like Cuba, I think. Some, something yeah, similar. something similar in Cuba. Um, although Cuba has been opening up more and more, but you're right. I mean, Cuba is a, also a communist country, and they have a lot of control over their, their people. Um, Cuba is an interesting country to talk about as well, because um, like uh, Jordi was saying... If you go to Cuba, it looks very much in the past. It's like you went through a time machine to the past. They have they have cars there, but they're very old cars, and they actually do a very nice job of keeping them uh, uh, in shape running, but they're old, old cars, so they don't have new cars um, for the most part in Cuba. Mm -hmm. um, let me uh, touch on a few things. Uh, with Jordy, very good Jordy. Um, one thing, you know, in terms of your English is quite good. One thing in terms of uh, North American pronunciation, if you're interested in that, um, your R would be uh, stronger. Um, like when you say a word like there, you notice how my, you know, I'm I'm not like I'm not rolling it. Um, I know a lot of uh, Spanish speakers. It's part of the language and it's a beautiful part of the language to roll the r uh, but in north american english we just have it more sharp so it's like there um, better that sort of thing you also um does that make sense jordy yeah yeah, yeah. thank okay. you for telling me that yeah and um like one uh vocabulary word you used you said the dwellers and um we would probably, instead of saying the dwellers, we would say the citizens of North Korea or the people, we could just simply say the people living in North Korea. Um, but um, um, I, I know what you mean when you're saying dwellers, uh, but it's not a common way of describing in this situation. Okay, Hello. thank you. Yeah, so we would say like this, the citizens of North Korea. Hey, you've reached the end of part A. That's the first part of this podcast. I'm breaking it, this podcast up into several different pieces so it's not one long, heavy podcast and you can listen to it in different segments. So not to worry, you can go on to listen to part B. Go ahead and just find part B to this podcast. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.